I'm with Fox News. Are you from Baltimore? We are from I'm, Baltimore. I'm a city councilman in the district. You're, you're a city councilman. You're, what is no it? Is you're, is you're watching this. Tell me what this means for your city. Cease. What do you mean? Cease. Cease fire. When, you, when you're watching this go on, does it break your heart to see this happen? Oh, definitely. I mean, what it is is young boys, the young folks of this community showing decades old of anger, frustration for a system has failed them. I mean, this is bigger than Freddie Gray. This is about the social economics of, of poor urban America. And, uh, you know, these young guys are frustrated, they're upset, and unfortunately, they're displaying it in a um, very destructive manner. You know, when folks are, uh, are undereducated, unfortunately, they don't have the same intellectual voice to express it the way other people do, and that's what we see through the violence today. We just we just watched this liquor store being looted, and there's a bunch of folks running in and out of yeah, there. Yeah. Nothing to do with nothing. What's wrong with that? The police, the police are all the way down there. Yeah. You're a city council member. Is that right? Is it right for people to loot? No. I mean, I, I think you've missed everything I've tried to okay, articulate so to you. What I've understand. said is everything out here has happened wrong. The violence is wrong. That's never acceptable. Understanding that there's a symptom of something that's going on here. And what I'm trying to articulate to you is when you look at communities like this in urban America, lack of education, uh, uh, lack of uh, commercial development, lack of opportunities. It's the social economics of it. It has nothing to do with West Baltimore. Baltimore or this particular corner in Baltimore. This could erupt anywhere in socially, economically deprived America. Well, we've, cer we've certainly seen this in other cities. Obviously, Ferguson comes comes to mind. We here. also see it at rallies like at Kentucky. When Kentucky lost that basketball game, we see crowds of that loot and that flip over cars and stuff. Right. But oh, unlike, but, but but unfortunately, you know, all of the 95 percent of uh, the positive rallying that has been occurring here in Baltimore, the national media is going to focus on this, Did, and that's the problem. So so what what are the legitimate grievances in your mind that folks have about being here? Is it against the police? Is it against the uh, poverty? What, I think this, what is is a common, this is a culmination of a lot of different things. You know, decades old of failed policies, uh, you know, decades old of lack of development for these communities. I mean, it's a lot that, it, it, that pours into it, and these young boys are speaking tonight, unfortunately, in a very wrong way. Do you have any idea why, as we're seeing what's going on here, and obviously you've got the police who have now backed off, any idea why? We asked them to back off. The men of this community came together, we talked to the police, we told them we would be able to kind of talk to the young guys out here, and we asked them to back up, and they did it. It worked out.